Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar, author of the Corrective Exercise Solutions to Common Hip and Shoulder Dysfunction and the soon to be released SOAS Solutions. Welcome to this three part video series of Integrative Movement Insider training the psoas and glute complex in your general population clients. If you work with a general population client like we do, then you understand that training them is not like training your advanced or high level athletes. Your general population clients need a specific approach that's appropriate for them. So in this three part video series, we're gonna talk briefly about the psoas and glutes and how they actually function as synergists. Meaning that these two muscles, their primary role is to help stabilize the trunk, spine, pelvis, and hip complex. And that research has shown that the psoas is actually a pretty weak and ineffective hip flexor. Its function is much more to help pull that femoral head or the ball up into the acetabulum or the socket and to help maintain that alignment and control during our functional activities. The glutes likewise will do very similar role. They'll work with the psoas to help maintain alignment and control. And yes, the glutes can also do hip extension as well. So what's the number one problem that we see with our general population clients that have hip impingement, tightness, and degenerative changes? Is there's too much gripping, especially from the posterior hip. So what happens is when our clients are bending forward, squatting, they're not getting enough anterior pelvic tilt. So what's not happening is they're not getting enough ability to eccentrically load the glutes by anterior pelvic tilting their pelvis over top their femoral head or to rotate that pelvis over top the femoral head. So therefore, as they're going into a bending forward pattern or they're going to a squat pattern where they need to get that eccentric load of the posterior hip, if they're gripping, they can't get that motion. So therefore, they start to move excessively into early posterior pelvic tilt excessive lumbar spine flexion, and they'll often drive their knees forward. And that's oftentimes why so many of our general population clients have low back and knee issues. So we wanna help them develop a corrective exercise strategy that helps them develop better use of their psoas and glutes as part of an overall training strategy. So we're gonna use the integrative movement system principles, alignment, breathing, and control, However, I want you to understand, use what works. If you have found a strategy that works successfully with your clients, then continue to use it. We really help our clients focus on aligning that thoracal pelvic cylinder, the thorax over top of the pelvis, maintaining as much neutral alignment as our clients can achieve. And we really teach them then how to load that posterior hip complex, how to use a psoas as part of an integrated system to control the femoral head within the acetabulum or the ball within the socket and then we teach them how to integrate that. So our next video, or the third video I should say, is integration, to create practical use of this information, of how the psoas and glutes work together, and then how we teach and train eccentric loading of the hip complex so your clients can achieve better hip function, better posture, and ultimately better movement so they can do the things that they need to, want to, and love to do. So this is Dr. Evan Ostar with Integrative Movement Insider helping you understand how the psoas and glutes work together in your general population clients. So stay tuned for video two, where we go into how we train the psoas as part of an integrated system. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.